misunderstand verb to understand incorrectly while believing one has understood correctly discovery noun something discovered delayed verb to put off until a later time to defer verb to dilute temper joined verb to connect or combine into one to put together played verb to act in a manner such that one has fun to engage in activities expressly for the purpose of recreation or entertainment purse noun a small bag for carrying money verb to press one's lips in and together so that they protrude optional noun something that is not compulsory especially part of an academic course adjective not compulsory left to personal choice elective s noun a weight of one two hundred eighty eighth of a pound that is twenty grains or one third of a dram about one point three grams symbol noun each of the four divisions of a year spring summer autumn fall and winter noun a coin formerly used in the united kingdom ireland malta australia new zealand and many other commonwealth countries noun one of the four major compass points specifically 180 degrees directed toward the south pole and conventionally downwards on a map abbreviated as s noun a quark having a fractional electric charge of minus one third and a mass about 80 to 130 mv symbol s facilities noun facilities for urination and defecation a toilet a lavatory noun the fact of being easy or easily done absence of difficulty simplicity curious adjective tending to ask questions or to want to explore or investigate inquisitive with a negative connotation nosy prying published verb to issue something such as printed work for distribution and or sale now noun the present time adjective present current adverb at the present time conjunction since because in light of the fact often with that interjection indicates a signal to begin paragraph noun a passage in text that is about a different subject from the preceding text marked by commencing on a new line the first line sometimes being indented verb to sort text into paragraphs academic noun usually capitalized a follower of plato a platonist adjective belonging to the school or philosophy of plato seats noun something to be sat upon verb to put an object into a place where it will rest to fix to set firm profits noun total income or cash flow minus expenditures the money or other benefit a non-governmental organization or individual receives in exchange for products and services sold at an advertised price verb to benefit somebody be of use to somebody celebrity noun a rite or ceremony drinking verb to consume a liquid through the mouth noun an act or session by which drink is consumed especially alcoholic beverages duplication noun the act of duplicating stepdaughter noun the daughter of one's spouse and not of oneself pretending verb to claim to allege especially when falsely or as a form of deliberate deception noun the act of imagining make believe jester noun one who jests jokes or teases beautician noun one who does hair styling manicures and other beauty treatments organize verb to arrange in working order fertile adjective of land etc capable of growing abundant crops productive 60th noun the person or thing in the 60th position adjective the ordinal form of the number 60 relating verb to tell in a descriptive way 
Noun. The act of relating, or forming or identifying relationships. Relation. Referee. Noun. An umpire or judge. An official who makes sure the rules are followed during a game. Verb. To act as a referee. Failures. Noun. State or condition of not meeting a desirable or intended objective, opposite of success. Meanwhile. Noun. The time between two events. Adverb. During the time that something is happening. Quality. Noun. Level of excellence. Adjective. Being of good worth, well made, fit for purpose. Paperwork. Noun. Routine work involving written documents. During. Verb. To last, continue, endure. Preposition. For all of a given time interval. Ought. Noun. Property. Possession. Performance. Noun. The act of performing. Carrying into execution or action. Execution. Achievement. Accomplishment. Representation by action. Hearing. Verb. Stative. To perceive sounds through the ear. Noun. The sense used to perceive sound. Adjective. Able to hear. Kidding. Verb. To make a fool of. Someone. Noun. The action of the verb kid. Sanity. Noun. The condition of being sane. Count. Noun. The act of counting or tallying a quantity. Verb. To recite numbers in sequence. Adjective. Grammar. Countable. Marry. Verb. To enter into the conjugal or connubial state. To take a husband or a wife. Reporting. Verb. To relate details of. An event or incident. To recount. Describe. Something. Noun. The creation of reports. As for a business or a journal. Leave out. Verb. To omit. To not include. To neglect to mention. Port. Noun. A place on the coast at which ships can shelter. Or dock to load and unload cargo or passengers. Verb. To turn or put to the left or larboard side of a ship. Set of the helm. Adjective. Of or relating to port. The left hand side of a vessel when facing the bow. Rubble. Noun. The broken remains of an object, usually rock or masonry. Closest. Verb. Physical. To remove a gap. Adjective, closed, shut. Regarding, verb, to look at, to observe. Noun, the act by which something is regarded or observed. Preposition, concerning, respecting, qualified. Adjective, meeting the standards, requirements, and training for a position. Verb, to describe or characterize something by listing its qualities. Belongings. Noun. The feeling that one belongs. Approximate. Verb. To estimate. Adjective. Approaching. Proximate. Nearly resembling. Appropriate. Verb. To make suitable. To suit. Adjective. Suitable or fit. Proper. Same. Adjective. Not different or other. Not another or others. Not different as regards self. Self same. Identical. Pronoun. The identical thing. Ditto. Interjection. Indicates the speaker's strong approval or agreement with the previous material. Enough. Adverb. Sufficiently. Pronoun. A sufficient or adequate number. Amount. Etc. Interjection. Stop. Don't do that anymore. Fried. Adjective. Cook by frying. Verb. A method of cooking food. Clearly. Adverb. Manner. In a clear manner. Invade. Verb. To move into. Slow. Noun. Someone who is slow. A sluggard. Verb. To make. Something. Run. Move. Etc. Less quickly. To reduce the speed of. Adjective. Taking a long time to move or go a short distance. Or to perform an action. Not quick in motion. Proceeding at a low speed. Adverb. Slowly. Apparent. Adjective. Capable of being seen. Or easily seen. Open to view. Visible to the eye. Eyely. Within sight or view. Myth. Noun. A traditional story which embodies a belief regarding some fact or phenomenon of experience. 
and in which often the forces of nature and of the soul are personified. A sacred narrative regarding a god, a hero, the origin of the world or of a people, etc. Mistress. Noun. A woman. Specifically one with great control. Authority or ownership. Verb. Of a woman. To master. To learn or develop to a high degree of proficiency. Fortnight. Noun. A period of two weeks. Drives. Noun. Motivation to do or achieve something. Ability coupled with ambition. Verb. To provide an impetus for motion or other physical change. To move an object by means of the provision of force thereto. Canoeing. Verb. To ride or paddle a canoe. Noun. A water sport involving traveling or racing in canoes or kayaks. Detergent. Adjective. That cleanses. Noun. Any non-soap cleaning agent. Especially a synthetic surfactant. Climate. Noun. An area of the Earth's surface between two parallels of latitude. Verb. To dwell. Bit. Noun. A piece of metal placed in a horse's mouth and connected to the reins to direct the animal. Verb. To put a bridle upon. To put the bit in the mouth of. A horse. Addressing. Verb. To prepare oneself. Noun. A process of putting a person's name and address on an item of mail. Office. Noun. A ceremonial duty or service. Particularly. Verb. To provide. Someone. With an office. Kidding. Verb. To make a fool of. Someone. Noun. The action of the verb kid. Canned. Verb. To seal in a can. Adjective. Preserved in cans. Scene. Noun. The location of an event that attracts attention. Verb. To exhibit as a scene. To make a scene of. To display. Evil. Noun. Moral badness. Wickedness. Malevolence. The forces or behaviors that are the opposite or enemy of good. Adjective. Intending to harm. Malevolent. Energized. Verb. To invigorate. To make energetic. Making. Noun. The act of forming, causing, or constituting. Workmanship. Construction. Heartburn. Noun. A burning pain in the chest that is caused by stomach acid entering the gullet. Backpack. Noun. A knapsack. Sometimes mounted on a light frame. But always supported by straps. Worn on a person's back for the purpose of carrying things. Especially when hiking. Or on a student's back when carrying books. Verb. To hike and camp overnight in backcountry with one's gear carried in a backpack. Hesitation. Noun. An act of hesitating. Donate. Verb. To make a donation. To give away something of value to support or contribute towards a cause or for the benefit of. Another. Prime. Noun. The first hour of daylight. The first canonical hour. Adjective. First in importance. Degree. Or rank. Disadvantage. Noun. A weakness or undesirable characteristic. A con. Verb. To place at a disadvantage. Analyst. Noun. Someone who analyzes. Bathtub. Noun. A large container for holding water in which a person may bathe, take a bath. Grams. Noun. A photograph or video shared on this service. Noun. A unit of mass equal to one thousandth of a kilogram. Symbol. G. Noun. Grandmother. Internet. Noun. Any set of computer networks that communicate using the Internet protocol. An intranet. Verb. To use the Internet. To search for something using the Internet. To surf the Internet. Method. Noun. A process by which a task is completed. A way of doing something. Followed by the adposition of. To or for before the purpose of the process. Verb. To apply a method. Aim. Noun. The pointing of a weapon. As a gun. A dart. Or an arrow. Or object. In the line of direction with the object intended to be struck. The line of fire. The direction of anything. Such as a spear. A blow. A discourse. A remark. Towards a particular point or object.
with a view to strike or affect it. Verb. To point or direct a missile. Or a weapon which propels as missile. Towards an object or spot with the intent of hitting it. Read. Noun. A reading or an act of reading. Especially an actor's part of a play. Verb. To look at and interpret letters or other information that is written. Shock. Noun. A sudden. Heavy impact. Verb. To cause to be emotionally shocked. To cause. Someone. To feel surprised and upset. Helping. Verb. To provide assistance to. Someone or something. Noun. A portion or serving. Especially of food that one takes for oneself. Or to which one helps oneself. Reliability. Noun. The quality of being reliable, dependable or trustworthy. Patience. Noun. A person or animal who receives treatment from a doctor or other medically educated person. Grain. Noun. The harvested seeds of various grass food crops e.g. wheat, corn, barley. Verb. To feed grain to. Default. Noun. The condition of failing to meet an obligation. Verb. To fail to meet an obligation. About. Adjective. Moving around. A stir. Adverb. On all sides. Around. Cassette. Noun. A small flat case containing magnetic tape on two reels. Used to record and play back audio and video material. Angry. Adjective. Displaying or feeling anger. Filthy. Verb. To make very dirty. To cover in filth. Adjective. Covered with filth. Very dirty. Hash. Noun. Food. Especially meat and potatoes. Chopped and mixed together. Verb. To chop into small pieces. To make into a hash. Musicians. Noun. A composer. Conductor. Or performer of music. Specifically. A person who sings and or plays a musical instrument as a hobby. An occupation. Or a profession. Mechanic. Noun. A manual worker. A laborer or artisan. Adjective. Mechanical. Relating to the laws of motion in the art of constructing things. Filters. Noun. A device which separates a suspended. Dissolved. Or particulate matter from a fluid. Solution. Or other substance. Any device that separates one substance from another. Verb. To sort. Sift. Or isolate. Haircut. Noun. The act of cutting of the hair. Often done professionally by a barber. Hair stylist. Or beautician. Darling. Noun. A person who is dear to one. Adjective. Dear. Cherished. Frame. Noun. The structural elements of a building or other constructed object. Verb. To fit. As for a specific end or purpose. Make suitable or comfortable. Adapt. Adjust. Scored. Verb. To cut a notch or a groove in a surface. Hosted. Verb. To perform the role of a host. Crossword. Noun. Games. Puzzles. A word puzzle in which interlocking words are entered usually horizontally and vertically into a grid based on clues given for each word. Paramedic. Noun. An individual trained to medically stabilize people through various interventions. Victims of trauma or medical events outside of a hospital setting and preparing them for transport to a medical facility. Discomfort. Noun. Mental or bodily distress. Verb. To cause annoyance or distress to. Attitude. Noun. The position of the body or way of carrying oneself. Verb. To assume or to place in a particular position or orientation. To pose. Filled. Verb. To occupy fully. To take up all of. Adjective. Followed by with. That is now full. Breathed. Verb. To draw air into. Inhale. And expel air from. Exhale. The lungs in order to extract oxygen and excrete waste gases. Contention. Noun. Argument. Contest. Debate. Strife. Struggle. Additional. Noun. Something added. Adjective. Supplemental or added to something. Cockerel. Noun. A young male chicken. History.
Noun, the aggregate of past events. Verb, to narrate or record. Arm chair. Noun, a chair with supports for the arms or elbows. Verb, to create based on theory or general knowledge rather than data. Adjective, remote from actual involvement, including a person retired from previously active involvement. Carrier. Noun, a person or object that carries someone or something else. Follows. Noun. Sometimes attributive. In billiards and similar games. A stroke causing a ball to follow another ball after hitting it. Verb. To go after. To pursue. To move behind in the same path or direction. Painting. Verb. To apply paint to. Noun. An illustration or artwork done with the use of paint. Intelligent. Adjective, of high or especially quick cognitive capacity, bright. Fanatic. Noun. A person who is zealously enthusiastic for some cause. Especially in religion. Adjective. Fanatical. Incision. Noun. A cut. Especially one made by a scalpel or similar medical tool in the context of surgical operation. The scar resulting from such a cut. Argument. Noun. A fact or statement used to support a proposition. A reason. Verb. N-N-E-S. To put forward as an argument. To argue. Extraordinary. Noun. Anything that goes beyond what is ordinary. Adjective. Not ordinary. Exceptional. Unusual. Accent. Noun. A higher pitched or stronger articulation of a particular syllable of a word or phrase in order to Distinguish it from the others or to emphasize it. Develops. Verb. To change with a specific direction. Progress. Nightmare. Noun. A demon or monster. Thought to plague people while they slept and cause a feeling of suffocation and terror during sleep. Fifteenth. Noun. The person or thing in the fifteenth position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number fifteen. Problem. Noun. A difficulty that has to be resolved or dealt with. Adjective. Of a person or an animal. Difficult to train or guide. Unruly. Offering. Verb. To propose or express one's willingness. To do something. Noun. The act by which something is offered. Smith. Noun. A craftsperson who works metal into desired forms using a hammer and other tools. Sometimes heating the metal to make it more workable. Especially a blacksmith. Fluently. Adverb. In a fluent manner, as expressing oneself easily, especially in a foreign language. Gym. Noun. A sports facility specialized for lifting weights and exercise. Verb. To go to the gym. Noun. A large room or building for indoor sports. Noun. A sport involving the performance of sequences of movements requiring physical strength, flexibility, and kinesthetic awareness. Action. Noun. Something done so as to accomplish a purpose. Verb. To act on a request etc. In order to put it into effect. Interjection. Demanding or signifying the start of something. Usually an act or scene of a theatric performance. Polling. Verb, to take, record the votes of, an electorate. Noun, the action of taking a poll. Poop. Noun, fecal matter, feces. Verb, to make a short blast on a horn. Heal. Noun, a spell or ability that restores hit points or removes a status ailment. Verb, to make better from a disease. Wound. Etc. To revive or cure. Immense. Noun. Immense extent or expanse. Immensity. Adjective. Huge, gigantic, very large. Shrimp. Noun. Any of many swimming. Often edible crustaceans. Chiefly of the infraorder Caridia or the suborder Dendrobranchiata. With slender legs. Long whiskers and a long abdomen. Verb. To fish for shrimp. Spreadsheets. Noun. A sheet of paper. Marked with a grid. In which financial data is recorded and totals calculated manually. Columns. Noun. 
a solid upright structure designed usually to support a larger structure above it, such as a roof or horizontal beam, but sometimes for decoration. Billion. Noun. Modern British and Australian. Short scale. A thousand million. Logic. One thousand times one thousand to the power of two. One followed by nine zeros. One hundred nine. A milliard. Salute. Noun. An utterance or gesture expressing greeting or honor towards someone. Now especially a formal, non-verbal gesture made with the arms or hands in any of various specific positions. Verb. To make a gesture in honor of someone or something. Contribute. Verb. To give something that is or becomes part of a larger whole. Ago. Adjective. Gone. Gone by. Gone away. Past. Passed away. Adverb. Before. Merit. Noun. A claim to commendation or a reward. Verb. To deserve. To earn. Estate. Noun. The collective property and liabilities of someone. Especially a deceased person. Verb. To give an estate to. Adjective. Jewelry. Previously owned. Secondhand. Logical. Adjective. In agreement with the principles of logic. Formula. Noun. Any mathematical rule expressed symbolically. Noun. A manufactured food simulating human breast milk. Designed to be fed to babies and infants under 12 months of age. Rope. Noun. Thick strings. Yarn. Monofilaments. Metal wires. Or strands of other cordage that are twisted together to form a stronger line. Verb. To tie. Something. With rope. Decorating. Verb. To furnish with decorations. Noun. Decoration. Iced. Adjective. With ice added. Attention. Noun. Mental focus. Interjection. Used as a command to bring soldiers to the attention position. Recession. Noun. The act or an instance of receding or withdrawing. Fracture. Noun. An instance of breaking. A place where something has broken. Verb. To break. Or cause something to break. Conducts. Noun. The act or method of controlling or directing. Verb. To lead, or guide. To escort. Put down. Verb. To insult. Belittle. Or demean. Noun. An insult or barb. A snide or demeaning remark. Free. Noun. Free transfer. Verb. To make free. Set at liberty. Release. Adjective. Social. Unconstrained. Adverb. Without needing to pay. Noun. Other ball games. A kick in which a player may kick the ball without interference from the opposition. Such a kick may be awarded for a foul by the opposition. Or earned by a player such as by taking a mark. Leaving. Verb. To have a consequence or remnant. Verb. To give leave to. Allow. Permit. Let. Grant. Verb. To produce leaves or foliage. Verb. To raise. To levy. Moisture. Noun. That which moistens or makes damp or wet, exuding fluid, liquid in small quantity. Helps. Noun. Action given to provide assistance. Aid. Verb. To provide assistance to. Someone or something. Rough. Noun. The unmowed part of a golf course. Verb. To create in an approximate form. Adjective. Not smooth. Uneven. Adverb. In a rough manner. Rudely. Roughly. Code. Noun. A short symbol. Often with little relation to the item it represents. Verb. To write software programs. Hypothesis. Noun. Used loosely. A tentative conjecture explaining an observation. Phenomenon or scientific problem that can be tested by further observation. Investigation and or experimentation. As a scientific term of art. See the attached quotation. Compare to theory. And quotation given there. Acceptable. Adjective. Worthy. Decent. Sure of being accepted or received with at least moderate pleasure. Handful. Noun. The amount that a hand will grasp or contain. Signed. Verb. To make a mark. Adjective. 
having a signature, endorsed, fan, noun, a handheld device consisting of concertinated material, or slats of material, gathered together at one end, that may be opened out into the shape of a sector of a circle and waved back and forth in order to move air towards oneself and cool oneself. Verb. To blow air on. Something. By means of a fan. Handheld. Mechanical or electrical. Or otherwise. Ordinary. Noun. A person with authority. Authority. Ordinance. Adjective. Of a judge. Having regular jurisdiction. Now only used in certain phrases. Socks. Noun. A knitted or woven covering for the foot. Noun. A violent blow. A punch. Verb. To hit or strike violently. To deliver a blow to. Noun. A plowshare. Noun. An opening into which a plug or other connecting part is designed to fit. E.g. a light bulb socket. Cling. Noun. Fruit. Especially peach. Whose flesh adheres strongly to the pit. Verb. To hold very tightly. As to not fall off. Filtering. Verb. To sort, sift, or isolate. Noun. The process of passing something through a filter. Blog. Noun. A website that allows users to reflect, share opinions, and discuss various topics in the form of an online journal, sometimes letting readers comment on their posts. Most blogs are written in a slightly informal tone. Personal journals, news, businesses, etc. Verb. To contribute to a blog. Silence. Noun. The absence of any sound. Verb. To make. Someone or something. Silent. Interjection. Be silent. Realize. Verb. To make real. To convert from the imaginary or fictitious into reality. To bring into real existence. Initial. Noun. The first letter of a word or a name. Verb. To sign one's initial. S. As an abbreviated signature. Adjective. Chronologically first. Early. Of or pertaining to the beginning. Cause or origin. Empty. Noun. Usually plural. A container. Especially a bottle. Whose contents have been used up. Leaving it empty. Verb. To make empty. To void. To remove the contents of. Adjective. Devoid of content. Containing nothing or nobody. Vacant. Keep in with. Verb. To continue to have a good relationship with. Someone. Divide. Noun. A thing that divides. Verb. To split or separate. Something. Into two or more parts. Remain. Noun. Chiefly in the plural. That which is left. Relic. Remainder. Verb. To stay behind while others withdraw. To be left after others have been removed or destroyed. To be left after a number or quantity has been subtracted or cut off. To be left as not included or comprised. Chin. Noun. The bottom of a face. Specifically. The typically jutting jawline below the mouth. Verb. To talk. Archive. Noun. A place for storing earlier. An often historical. Material. An archive usually contains documents. Letters records, newspapers, etc., or other types of media kept for historical interest. Verb. To put into an archive. Assigned. Verb. To designate or set apart something for some purpose. Blowing. Verb. To produce an air current. Verb. To blossom. To cause to bloom or blossom. Efficient. Noun. A cause. Something that causes an effect. Adjective. Making good. Thorough. Our careful use of resources. Not consuming extra. Especially. Making good use of time or energy. Fundraiser. Noun. An event undertaken to get money by voluntary contributions for a particular activity. Such as equipment for extracurricular sports programs. Or to defray laboratory costs. Salaries. For research of a cure for a particular disease. Nephew. Noun. A son of one's sibling. Brother-in-law. Or sister-in-law. Either a son of one's brother. 
fraternal nephew, or a son of one's sister. Sororal nephew, indicating, verb, to point out, to discover, to direct to a knowledge of, to show, to make known. Prediction. Noun. A statement of what will happen in the future. Statement. Noun. A declaration or remark. Implemented. Verb. To bring about. To put into practice. Practices. Noun. Repetition of an activity to improve a skill. Verb. To repeat. An activity. As a way of improving one's skill in that activity. Hook. Noun. A rod bent into a curved shape. Typically with one end free and the other end secured to a rope or other attachment. Verb. To attach a hook to. Organized. Verb. To arrange in working order. Adjective. Of a person. Characterized by efficient organization. Singers. Noun. A person who sings. Often professionally. Noun. A person who. Or device which. Singes. Associated. Verb. To join in or form a league, union, or association. Adjective. Of a person or thing. Connected with something or another person. Running. Verb. To move swiftly. Noun. The action of the verb to run. Adjective. Moving or advancing at a run. Adverb. Consecutively. In a row. Preposition. Approaching. About. Roughly. Closest. Verb. Physical, to remove a gap. Adjective, closed, shut. Provision. Noun. An item of goods or supplies. Especially food. Obtained for future use. Verb. To supply with provisions. Pile. Noun. A mass of things heaped together. A heap. Verb. Often used with the preposition, up. To lay or throw into a pile or heap. To heap up. To collect into a mass. To accumulate. Reduced. Verb. To bring down the size. Quantity. Quality. Value or intensity of something. To diminish. To lower. Adjective. Made smaller or less. Having undergone reduction. Classmates. Noun. A student who is in the same class at school. Shuttle. Noun. The part of a loom that carries the woof back and forth between the warp threads. Verb. To go back and forth between two places. Bro. Noun. Brother. A male sibling. Representative. Noun. A delegate. Adjective. Typical. Having the same properties or interest as a larger group. Betray. Verb. To deliver into the hands of an enemy by treachery or fraud. In violation of trust. To give up treacherously or faithlessly. Capability. Noun. The power or ability to generate an outcome. Helping. Verb. To provide assistance to. Someone or something. Noun. A portion or serving. Especially of food that one takes for oneself. Or to which one helps oneself. Crowned. Verb. To place a crown on the head of. Adjective. Wearing a crown. Forever. Noun. An extremely long time. Adjective. Permanent. Lasting. Adverb. Duration. For all time. For all eternity. For a lifetime. For an infinite amount of time. Minute. Noun. A unit of time equal to 60 seconds. One sixtieth of an hour. Verb. Of an event. To write in a memo or the minutes of a meeting. Character. Noun. A being involved in the action of a story. Verb. To write. Using characters. To describe. Fear. Noun. A strong. Uncontrollable. Unpleasant emotion or feeling caused by actual or perceived danger or threat. Verb. To feel fear about. Something or someone. To be afraid of. To consider or expect with alarm. Silent. Noun. That which is silent. A time of silence. Adjective. Free from sound or noise. Absolutely still. Perfectly quiet. Sheriff. Noun. Except Scotland. High Sheriff. An official of a shire or county office. Responsible for carrying out court orders. Law enforcement and other duties. Verb. 
to carry out the duties of a sheriff. Hypothesis. Noun. Used loosely. A tentative conjecture explaining an observation. Phenomenon or scientific problem that can be tested by further observation, investigation and or experimentation. As a scientific term of art. See the attached quotation. Compare to theory. And quotation given there. Moss. Noun. Any of various small, green, seedless plants growing on the ground or on the surfaces of trees, stones, etc. Now specifically, a plant of the phylum Bryophyta, formerly division mushy, verb, to become covered with moss, guilds, noun, a group or association mainly of tradespeople made up of merchants, craftspeople, or artisans for mutual aid particularly in the Middle Ages. Sauces. Noun. A liquid. Often thickened. Condiment or accompaniment to food. Verb. To add sauce to. To season. Noun. The person. Place or thing from which something. Information. Goods. Etc. Comes or is acquired. Haircut. Noun. The act of cutting of the hair. Often done professionally by a barber. Hair stylist or beautician, meant, verb, to intend, parrot, noun, a kind of bird, many species of which are colorful and able to mimic human speech, of the order Cytisiformes or, narrowly, of the family Cetacidae, verb, to repeat, exactly what has just been said, without necessarily showing understanding, in the manner of a parrot, aforementioned, noun, the one or ones mentioned previously. Adjective, previously mentioned. Homeless. Adjective, lacking a permanent place of residence. Annual. Noun. An annual publication. A book. Periodical. Journal. Report. Comic book. Yearbook. Etc. Which is published serially once a year. Which may or may not be in addition to regular weekly or monthly publication. Adjective. Happening once every year. Matters. Noun. Substance. Material. Verb. To be important. Men. Noun. An adult male human. Noun. Collective. The. People. Humanity. Sponge. Noun. Any of various marine invertebrates. Mostly of the phylum porifera. That have a porous skeleton often of silica. Verb to take advantage of the kindness of others. Guilty. Noun. A plea by a defendant who does not contest a charge. Adjective. Responsible for a dishonest act. Excited. Verb. To stir the emotions of. Adjective. Having great enthusiasm. Grandfather. Noun. A father of someone's parent. Verb. To be, or act as, a grandfather to. Apply. Verb, to lay or place, to put, one thing to another. Discourse. Noun. Verbal exchange. Conversation. Verb. To engage in discussion or conversation. To converse. Sensitive. Noun. A person with a paranormal sensitivity to something that most cannot perceive. Adjective. Having the faculty of sensation. Pertaining to the senses. Hero. Noun. Somebody who possesses great bravery and carries out extraordinary or noble deeds. Sauces. Noun. A liquid. Often thickened. Condiment or accompaniment to food. Verb. To add sauce to. To season. Noun. The person. Place or thing from which something. Information. Goods. Etc. Comes or is acquired. Sofa. Noun. A raised area of a building's floor usually covered with carpeting, used for sitting, verb, to furnish with one or more sofas, by, noun, the position of a person or team in a tournament or competition who draws no opponent in a particular round so advances to the next round unopposed, or is awarded points for a win in a league table, also the phantom opponent of such a person or team, assertive, adjective, boldly self-assured, Confident without being aggressive. Gifted. Verb. To give as a gift or donation. 
adjective, endowed with special, in particular intellectual, abilities, peace, noun, a part of a larger whole, usually in such a form that it is able to be separated from other parts, verb, usually with together, to assemble, something real or figurative, cancel, noun, a cancellation, U.S., non-standard in some kinds of English, verb, to cross out something with lines etc., expression, noun, the action of expressing thoughts, ideas, feelings, etc., pretend, verb, to claim, to allege, especially when falsely or as a form of deliberate deception, adjective, not really what it is represented as being, imaginary, feigned, breathtaking, adjective, stunningly beautiful, amazing, society, noun, a long-standing group of people sharing cultural aspects such as language, dress, norms of behavior and artistic forms, sleeps, verb, to rest in a state of reduced consciousness, noun, the state of reduced consciousness during which a human or animal rests in a daily rhythm. Monster. Noun. A terrifying and dangerous creature. Verb. To make into a monster. To categorize as a monster. To demonize. Adjective. Very large. Worthy of a monster. Creates. Verb. To bring into existence. Sometimes in particular smiley face. Activism. Noun. The practice of using action to achieve a result. Such as political demonstration or a strike in support of or in opposition to an issue. Designer. Noun. A person who designs something. Or who designs things as a profession. Adjective. Created by a designer. Especially a fashion designer. Hopefully. Adverb. In a hopeful manner. Raised. Verb. Physical, to cause to rise, to lift or elevate. Adjective, embossed, in relief. Pulling, verb, to apply a force to an object, so that it comes toward the person or thing applying the force. Limitation, noun, the act of limiting or the state of being limited. Detergent, adjective, that cleanses. Noun, any non-soap cleaning agent especially a synthetic surfactant. Carpenter. Noun. A person skilled at carpentry. The trade of cutting and joining timber in order to construct buildings or other structures. Verb. To work as a carpenter. Cutting and joining timber. Organized. Verb. To arrange in working order. Adjective. Of a person. Characterized by efficient organization. Critic. Noun. A person who appraises the works of others. Verb. To criticize. Noun. The art of criticism. Disaster. Noun. An unexpected natural or man-made catastrophe of substantial extent causing significant physical damage or destruction. Loss of life or sometimes permanent change to the natural environment. Dancer. Noun. A person who dances, usually as a job or profession. Make. Noun. Brand or kind. Model. Verb. To create. Authorize. Verb. To grant. Someone. The permission or power necessary to do. Something. Haired. Verb. To remove the hair from. Adjective. Having hair. Not bald or hairless. Slaughter. Noun. The killing of animals. Generally for food. Verb. To butcher animals. Generally for food. Bags. Noun. A flexible container made of cloth, paper, plastic, etc. Verb. To put into a bag. Qualify. Noun. An instance of throwing and catching each prop at least twice. Verb. To describe or characterize something by listing its qualities. Railway. Noun. A transport system using rails used to move passengers or goods. Arbitrary. Noun. Anything arbitrary. Such as an arithmetical value or a fee. Adjective. Usually of a decision. Based on individual discretion or judgment. Not based on any objective distinction. Perhaps even made at random. 
compile noun an act of compiling code verb to put together to assemble to make by gathering things from various sources inquisitive adjective eager to acquire knowledge hire noun payment for the temporary use of something cardiologist noun a physician who specializes in medical problems related to the heart blocks noun a substantial often approximately cuboid piece of any substance verb to fill something so that it is not possible to pass faculty noun the academic staff at schools colleges universities or not-for-profit research institutes as opposed to the students or support staff stepmother noun the wife of one's biological father other than one's biological mother contribution noun something given or offered that adds to a larger whole meters noun always meter a device that measures things verb to measure with a metering device facility noun the fact of being easy or easily done absence of difficulty simplicity oasis noun a spring of fresh water surrounded by a fertile region of vegetation in a desert keep in with verb to continue to have a good relationship with someone jogging noun the action of the verb to jog chemist noun a person who specializes in the science of chemistry especially at a professional level hospital noun a large medical facility usually in a building with multiple floors where seriously ill or injured patients are given extensive medical and or surgical treatment adjective hospitable false noun the act of moving to a lower position under the effect of gravity verb heading to be moved downwards noun the chasing of a hunted whale noun a waterfall missing verb to fail to hit noun a value that is missing adjective not able to be located gone misplaced shrimp noun any of many swimming often edible crustaceans chiefly of the infraorder caridia or the suborder dendrobranchiata with slender legs, long whiskers and a long abdomen. Verb. To fish for shrimp. Gingerbread. Noun. A type of cake whose main flavoring is ginger. Mosquito. Noun. A small flying insect of the family Culicidae. The females of which bite humans and animals and suck blood. Leaving an itching bump on the skin. And sometimes carrying diseases like malaria and yellow fever. Verb to fly close to the ground, seemingly without a course. Health. Noun. The state of being free from physical or psychological disease, illness, or malfunction. Wellness. Crisp. Noun. A thin slice of fried potato eaten as a snack. Verb. To make crisp. Adjective. Of something seen or heard. Sharp. Clearly defined. Ordinary. Noun. A person with authority. Authority. Ordinance. Adjective. Of a judge. Having regular jurisdiction. Now only used in certain phrases. Rules. Noun. A regulation. Law. Guideline. Verb. To regulate. Be in charge of. Make decisions for. Reign over. Verb. To revel. Crypto. Noun. A secret supporter or follower. Adjective secret or covert specialist noun someone who is an expert in or devoted to some specific branch of study or research adjective specialized fiber noun a single elongated piece of a given material roughly round in cross section often twisted with other fibers to form thread impose verb to establish or apply by authority nature noun the natural world that which consists of all things unaffected by or predating human technology production and design compare ecosystem verb to endow with natural qualities conservative noun 
a person who favors maintenance of the status quo. Adjective, cautious. Dirt, noun, soil or earth. Verb, to make foul or filthy. Soil, be foul. Dirty.